Discerning the Music of Life by George Benny. George Benny is a keyboardist and lyricist of master plan band and a finance professional working in Dubai, UAE. He and his wife Cheryl are the coordinators of the Jesus Youth Family Ministry Dubai and they have four children. George Benny speaks of how the message is always more important than the notes that carry it. No other medium comes close to music in terms of its universality and efficacy in driving emotion. Songs and musical pieces are highly effective tools in passing on ideas and messages. They can alter the state of mind of the listener within minutes. In the church, music plays a huge role in both liturgical and congregational worship and celebration. With the advent of the internet and high definition recording and playback systems, one can say that the impact of music has greatly increased. In this day and age, any song is almost instantaneously available at our fingertips. Complex algorithms on the internet introduce us to new songs every day based on our likes and dislikes. A common notion held by many is that certain genres of music may have negative or positive effects on people. For example, jazz is always recognizable as calm and relaxing, whereas uh, a genre such as Gregorian chants may be construed as contemplative and solemn. While there is some amount of truth in, in this predicament, one needs to dwell deeper in order to see the danger of believing this proposition in its entirety. The most common opinion held by many is that rock music leads people to violence. As absurd it may seem, this claim has been upheld and endorsed by many prominent thinkers. A similar stereotype is the linking of rap music to crime and hedonism. However, the truth is far from it. There is really no academic study that backs up these claims. Such genres such as rap and rock uh, may not appeal easily to the general populace since these may be quite loud and abrasive to the untrained ear. The distorted guitars, the loud and screaming vocals, the thumping bass lines may be considered as the catalyst to such uh, opinions. I think rock songs are a great way to express strong emotions and rap may be a great way to pass on messages with complex lyrical themes. Both genres have the power to mobilize people for good and bad causes alike. So then, the question arises, how do we differentiate between good music and bad music? The answer is quite simple. We would need to look at the definition of music itself first. Music is sound placed in order and rhythm. God being a God of order and not of chaos, gave order to the sounds and lo and behold music was created from noise. Hence, all music is good because it was created by God, whatever the genre may be. However, the message communicated within the music itself is what makes it good or bad. Let's um, illustrate with an example. For example, if, if a rap song is about lust, it will certainly promote a questionable thinking and consequently have the wrong influence. On the other hand, if a pop song is sung about love between a man, a man and a woman, then it can be seen as inherently good. The contrary may also apply. For example, a jazz song about the love of money will be seen as an unsavory influence and a heavy metal song about maybe civil rights or freedom becomes essentially correct or good music. Um, you know, one thing also to consider is that with the advent of song videos, the visualization of such songs also plays a crucial role in determining the positive or negative impact of a song. Most of the popular hip-hop songs are visualized on sex 
which does not make the genre itself bad but requires the listener to judge each song more carefully and then determine its value another thing is that uh, the tendency to label all secular songs in quotes as evil is an extreme and narrow idea that some people subscribe to there is a rich repository of music with christian themes which may not be necessarily available on the christian media platforms songs with profound meaning and lyrical themes can be found even in mainstream media the key to identifying such music is to cultivate an open yet discerning mind the sharing of such information through playlist recommendations and discussion boards can greatly help patrons of good music Now for many of us especially me music has become an inseparable part of our lives having said that anything that takes away the primacy of god can be termed as an addiction even music all music should finally lead to god and his goodness so it is only appropriate and ideal that one must remain very careful not to indulge in the love of music itself but the desire to be closer to god through the gift of music god bless you